Hello and welcome back to another episode of Creature Features. Today I'm going to show you how we create the bottom of the paludarium. So I'm going to show you how to do it with all the mangrove roots and the plants and everything else. So here we go, let's get started. Okay, so what you're going to want to do first is do a template of the area you've got inside your paludarium, inside your tank. If you're doing it in a fish tank, then the same thing. So just make a template the area you've got to work with. And you take all your parts, all your mangrove roots, whatever you're using, and we're going to simply just build them up, interlock them, like so, however you want to do it, like this. Move them all around till you get what you want. So we're going to end up with something like that. The fish can swim through a little bit nice in the back of the tank. So once you've got it set up and you're within your boundaries, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to glue it into place, or you can also get some um, like some fish safe putty that you use and put it in the bits, hold it together, let it go off. So I'm going to pause the video now. I'm going to glue this up, get it into shape, and then we'll put it into the tank. Okay, so here we are. All glued together. All right. So the fish got loads of space to swim through. Now look really nice in the corner of the tank. All the roots coming forward. So uh, yeah, that's that. Okay, so this is what we're trying to achieve. So you've got the paludarium. As we come down, it's going to look like the roots are coming out the bottom and into the fish tank part. So next we've got to fill this up with water, get our fish in. But yeah, that's the idea. So it looks like the roots coming out and they all intertangle and give the fish a nice swim through. Yeah, should look good. Okay, so this is what you're going to end up with. So, you can see uh, there, you've got all the roots coming down underneath the water. There you go, it's a little bit murky. So I've stirred it all up, when I'm in. You can see there's lots of places for the fish net to swim through. So now what we're going to do is we're going to get some plants in here, give it a bit of greenery, and then it's ready for the fish. Okay, so what we've done now is we've added the plants. You can see there all we've done, we've got some plants, and they're just tied to some rocks. This one over here is tied to a little bit of coconut. The plants just come up. I'll get some better footage of this when it's uh, when it's all settled down. It's a little bit murky at the moment. I've uh, been working in there. There we are, it's all planted. Go. And it just finishes the bottom off on the aquatic section. Over here I've got a coconut with a hole in it and I've put the plant inside with a plant coming out the top of the coconut. So now we're gonna get some fish in there. Okay, so here we are, done. Right. All planted. We've got some fish in there. See if I can pick some out for you. It's a little bit murky where I've done it all. There we go, we've got a guami there. I've got four female fighting fish in here, female baiters. Red tail shark, you can just see through there. Two angel fish, some neon tetras. Here's one of the female fighters, absolutely stunning colours on them. The great things about these little guys is um, you can have community of them so you can have a lot of them where with the males you can only have one thing still put one in here with the females but these have all the great colorations of the males there's another one here swim through there they have all the great colors that the males have but you can have a lot of them so absolutely great fish to have they are here goes a better image so that's it that's how we create the natural looking environment for the aquatic section of the paludarium So far, we've got all the fish down there in that bit. That's it from the top, look. There we go. And then we come up. And we've got the paludarium. Now, if you haven't seen how, to build, how we built this paludarium, you can see it in my other video. And if you look in here, we have some little white tree frogs dotted around having a snooze. There's three of them in here somewhere. There's that one there. And that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this has helped or given you some ideas. 
please leave me some comments in the comment section below if you haven't already subscribed then please consider doing so and that's it done thanks for watching